yeah, 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 that's right. So yeah, it came together enough and coherently and with enough magic to it that I could actually offer a workshop where I could share my songs and my music as a as an invitation and also as an inspiration and an offering of look what happens and look at how beautiful shadow work can be mm. that's that's what it was so and that's you know that's something I'm going to continue to do now <laughs> beautiful hearts welcome to Temple Talk I'm here today interviewing Lisa who was a part of our beautiful first invoking a Nana journey through the underworld so I'm just gonna ask Lisa a bit about her experience during the journey and all the gifts so Lisa hey. hello, <laughs> hello, <darling>. hello. <laughs> so Lisa what first called you to the invoking a Nana journey okay um, so I had had some experience with um, um, having like a journey with somebody from the School of Shamanic Womancraft and I'd had this really quite powerful experience through a drum journey meditation um, that I don't know, was so different than anything I'd kind of experienced before, really kind of this really natural, connected to the earth kind of experience. So a friend of mine, um, who you know and said I've you know I've met this really lovely woman and she's actually somebody who's done um, some work with the School of Shamanic Womancraft and when I heard that I thought right I know that what they do and what they're about is it's got a lot of integrity and um, I had a really and I really was curious about what 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 it, what, what it was that you would be doing and it was just one of those perfect timing that I was able to be part of the online circle that you were running so it just felt very fortuitous and, uh, and I was very curious. It was so perfect because it in line with the COVID lockdown oh, there was right. no other choice but to go online. That's right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise you wouldn't have been able to do it no, would you? No, all because we, we live so far away. Yeah, we other. do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what was your experience of the Invoking in Nana journey? Um, it, I mean it would be an understatement to say it's been one of the most amazing journeys that I've undertaken. I, I love doing personal growth work and um, I've got some experience in a few different modalities and and it just, it, it felt like it's kind of rounded out the picture and it was made whole from the other experiences that I've had. So. Other work that I've done have been, um, you know, I've done a lot of work that I feel like it's been kind of energy that's kind of up here, mm. up in up in the air, and I've, you know, through things like angelic reiki and hypnotherapy, more mind and up in, up, if this makes sense, kind of mm. upper upper work, and I've, and what I didn't expect, maybe I did, but I didn't fully appreciate, was how much the invoking a Nana journey because of the shamanic aspect to it and because it's so rooted in the earth mm -hmm. and in Mother Earth, I just, that was so deeply ground in and to embrace that other aspect, so the shadow, the shadow work. And I'm, you know, I'm reasonably comfortable with having done some shadow work before, so I was a little bit cautious and a, a little bit, well, a bit, you know, you, you, when you're not quite sure what to expect, mm -hmm. And with anything that you do, you're exploring aspects of yourselves. There's going to be some surprises in there. And, um, so there's this kind of, you know, I, w I was excited, but also slightly in a bit of trepidation. Or what am I? What's going to uncover? But go with an open and curious heart, and um, just very, very powerful. Um, very. I mean, it carried me through the whole COVID experience. It, it just turned it into it just seemed so poignant and meaningful and it, it, it didn't feel like a negative experience yeah. at all it felt like I was being given this opportunity to actually explore and do this deeper work so really powerful and I, I loved how 
you held and guided the process. So you felt in the hands, in safe hands, like you were being shown a path that is a known path, a path that's because the story is so old, mm. it's thousands of years old. There's, there's knowledge there, there's power there in that in that wisdom, in that old wisdom. And then because you just held that so beautifully and perfectly. Yet it was such a personal journey that I also guided myself. And I guess that's the whole point. That's the, point. That's the whole point is <laughs> self empowering. Self empowerment and that actually access to all that you need to know and all of the deep learning is found in here. That's where you access it. And so that, that was really beautiful. I, I struggle sometimes if I feel like there's a, you can only do things a certain way because that doesn't feel right with me. So it really was, we all did it very differently. Yes, we did. We all explored it very differently. And it, it wasn't too, well, you need to do it like this or this is what you should do when you really, you know, this is the kind of thing you should be. It wasn't like that. It was very much, you find it yourself, but you're not just left out out in the wind to, you know, like lost, like I, it was very much held and guided, but very much a um, accessing those really important dark corners inside of yourself that were, at times were confronting and um, at times I wasn't quite sure what does this all mean and where's <laughs> this all going, but it all it always made sense in the end. It always made sense. I suppose that's what we say at the end, yeah. every circle, you know, every time we talk in the talking ball, we always say, quiet and none, and the ways of the underworld are perfect, they may not be questioned. Yes. So it's like that, that surrendering into the mystery, knowing that we're fully held by this beautiful, you know, deep rooted ancient story, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So the energy is beyond. So, what would you say to someone who is like going, oh, I'm, I'm hearing the call mm. to do this work. It is shadow work. It's pretty fucking scary mm. at times to go, what would you say to someone who is just on the precipice of surrendering into and saying yes to to the to this work that's so hungering that yeah, we need? Of course. Um, I guess I would say this, if you have this feeling, you know if you're feeling because there's this curiosity there and maybe even there's a little bit of there might be a bit of resistance even a little bit of oh but I don't know if I want to you know I would say where the shadow is or where there is this hesitation that if it's, if it's, if it's through maybe fear if you're worried about what it's going to be too confronting I would say what I've discovered and learned and feel so sure about now is where that is, where that little feeling of fear is, there's gold on the other side of it, definitely. And, and I, and I thought, it, is it going to be too dark? Is it too dark? Am I going to get lost in the dark? But what you discover in the darkness is that's where the, that's where the light is. And you've been really good of taking your gifts of the, you know, the dark goddess gifts that she's given you yeah. out into the world through your singing and your medicine. Yes. Yeah. Ha, ha, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, process. of course. Because I mean, that, I guess uh, from, a, on, from an external perspective, that's the one thing, I guess, that's a very, very obvious, dramatic big thing that's happened for me on the back of being on a journey. I've talked very much more about what's been an internal experience, but... I had to go through the internal experience to to then have something to offer outwards. So I've always done, you know, healing work and people work. I feel like I've got, you know, a lot to offer in terms of helping people. But what I didn't appreciate and what I've really discovered through the Inanna journey is um, uncovering and really allowing up this create this creative. So part of the creative mapping that we used in the Inanna journey. So. Which is such a beautiful way to explore your realm of darkness that for me I was able to turn um, some of that into so I explored so I explored my darkness my inner shadow through words and through music mm -hmm. and through song and you know I've done a little bit of that in the past so it's not that unusual that I might do that but not not in any really big way and what I've 
been able to do and what's really happened for me which has been really wonderful is I managed to let go of all any what was getting in the way of really truly exploring that and so I've been able to um, what started off with little scratchings of ideas and some playing with some vocal sounds and little bits of you know I don't play a musical mm. instrument um, I have been able to actually produce some actual songs and music in fact I created a whole album <laughs> so of amazing. music in the Inanna journey so amazing. like a whole album of music and it was just it was like this amazing thing that was just pouring out of me and flowing through me that I, I just couldn't couldn't hold it back I couldn't stop it it felt like an unstoppable force and it had to come out and I don't think I've ever been so proud of anything that I've done because it's it was just so thoroughly cathartic and enjoyable to do it but actually I've produced something really beautiful and been able to kind of um, share that and it's it's opened up a whole new path for me now <laughs> like a whole new path well you sure you've you done the performance of your underworld journey yeah. and seven sisters that's right yeah, yeah that's right so yeah it came together enough and coherently and with enough magic to it that I could actually offer a workshop where I could share my songs and my music as a as an invitation or and also as an inspiration and an offering of look what happens and look at how beautiful shadow work can be mm. that's that's what it was so and that's you know that's something I'm going to continue to do now I've got some you know I'm not arranging some performances ongoing from here on in it's now going to be a really big part of my life and I just I would not have known trusted um, felt brave enough or just to just give it a go just to just you know to do that I think all the other things would have been in the way and held, and held me held me back like we all have things that hold us back from really expressing some of our deepest hearts desires and some of our, our real our real gifts and you don't really you don't know what you can do until you pull that stuff away and really let that stuff come out into the light and that stuff's in the darkness it is it's in the darkness it's in the darkness you did good. It's, it's a gold. I think you summed That's it up really well. So, what's the one word to sum up mm. the invoking and Anna journey through the underworld? <sighs> one word isn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> one word isn't enough. Um, Which two? Um, <laughs> Three, maybe. <laughs> manifesting magic manifesting magic so there you have it <laughs> manifesting magic <sighs> thank you Lisa oh, it was such an honor thank to be journeying with you oh. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for listening bye